Alright, hello YouTube, and welcome back to some more From the Depths. Now, you might be going, Doug, I thought you said you were going to wait until the, the next meeting came up. Well, slight change of plans. So I loaded up, decided to do a little bit of logistics in the time we had, set up a new fleet in production. We ha It has finished building. Yes. Yeah, as you can probably see by the fleet, it's got everything in it. We'll have to quickly order them into some kind of actual formation, but there's just a little bit of everything in that fleet. However, we actually stumbled upon the Twin Guard base. And there's only two faction bases left. Uh, oh no, there are three. No, yeah, there's only two faction bases left. Uh, although one of them is the Genbu, apparently, and I don't see that here. But what I'm thinking we might actually do... Maybe it's not been renamed properly. Is, um... We might actually just... I think we're actually just going to do an all-out war. We're just going to try and jump on them while we've got the drop on them. We've still got, like, 700,000 resources left. It's a little bit risky, but we're going to try it. So we're going to try and get the jump on the Steel Striders, uh, the Twin Guard rather, immediately kill them, and then jump on the the Empire. So, before we actually do start that though, yes. we had to get the combined fleet, the new one, first, yeah, that's what I named them, the first combined fleet. Yes. We had to get them into, as close as possible, because we can get right okay. next to it. We're not even going to worry about repairs, we're just going to jump it, <clears throat> and hope for the best. We can do repairs later, if I can even just return to the base to do repairs immediately after. Oh, meanwhile, the repair fleet should probably actually get on quickly uh, building a, an extended harvester on this point. Actually, yeah, build it straight out the back of there. That'll be in the right place. Yeah. Right. Now, the combined fleet is not fast. We will wait for it to get into position before we start anything. Also, should probably get it into some kind of formation as well. Because we're going to have to be constantly reorganising this thing in the fight. Right, so the flagship... Yeah. ...should be... ...a Mamaka 2, clearly. Uh, no. We'll make it one of the Urshas, because they're pretty tough. On my way. Let's get them facing the right way, and then we'll get them into position. We're not in a hurry, so... Plenty of time. I right, just go upwards, On that'll be way. fine. Right. Yeah. The ATGMs will go way. behind it. Yeah. The Chris's will directly flank way. the two Urshas. Should be the biggest, most yeah. obvious tanks. On my way. Yeah. On my way. Yeah. Mamaka 2 to the front is normal. Yeah. Vivian's behind. On my way. Yeah. And the most fragile, probably, yeah. so. On my way. Yeah. On my way. Should be about yes. six of them. I'm to the front. Yes. Might settle on for just way. rough, a slightly yes. rough formation, on but as long way. as we've yes. we're in about the spot on they're supposed way. to be, it's fine. Yes. On my way. Listening. The Angies can go at the back at moving out. Increase attitude. Listening. Moving out. Yes. Number two. Front. Yes. Vivian, you're in the right place. Okay, I think that's something approximating a formation. I kind of wish you could save a whole formation and just, yes. like, build a new one. That would be a, a nice little thing on for the devs way. to add, maybe. No, not straight way. to it, to there. Uh, meanwhile, yes. are you on there that yet? Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah, sorry, we're starting with a bit of logistics, but... Was it, like, to win a war, you got to plan it? Or whatever it was, like... What was it? Like, those who... To win a war, plan for it or something? I can't remember. There is... Yes. There's a Sun Tzu quote that's something along those lines, but yeah, it's basically, like, if you're going to fight a war, win it before it even starts by planning out everything correctly, plan, you know, how much you'll actually need and everything. I'm a little interested that the fortress name doesn't... The Suzuku... Or Suzuku? Yeah, it says the Genbu. It could be that they've got two. It is the Twin Guard. If they do, we'll have our main force charge straight in. We're just going to hope for the best. We'll have the radar balloon start moving in immediately. It's mega horribly wrong, but we're going to try it. Combined fleet's pretty beefy, it should be alright, and we'll get... Yeah. Think about it, before we even do that, let's get another Naga 2 in so it can repair them on the, f on the move. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's just load... In fact, let's just load two. We'll give them two so they can do fast repairs. They're not expensive vehicles, it's only the resources they carry that's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. yeah. You guys will be the... Third. Repair. There's a 
already two other Naga 2s going around fixing stuff. There's more needed resources. Yep. You want land vehicles. Yep. Get yourselves built. On my way. Of course, we could just jump them as is. They don't really seem to be getting any more resources, but... Anyway. Yeah, I don't know whether... Or could rather, sorry, wait until we could possibly get some payment for it, but... I think we'll just go for what we've said we're going to do. We're going to go all out on them. Ah, yes. What interesting we weather. Oh, jeez. Well, no wonder. Is this the Thunderfields from Final Fantasy X or whatever it was? I guess you can't, uh, ten times. Sadly, I can't do ten times and... Actually, yeah, I probably don't want to give myself a seizure from flashing lights. That's probably for the best. <laughs> I can't do that. Marabunter is a big robot ant, if I remember correctly. We don't want to mess with that. It's actually quite nasty. Uh, I don't know if the Suzaku is dangerous or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Twin Guard have got two AIs, but either way, we'll, we'll hopefully the Combined Fleet can quickly jump on that one and kill it, repair up from the two Nagas, and then move around. Come back to this spot afterwards to capture it and repair, and then straight in. We don't, we're not going to have time to waste around. We'll have the, again, the, the radar balloon will go in. Right. I think we're about as ready as we're going to be. Yes. You're there and have built the thing. There is another gathering On zone over way. here, I believe. So I'll send you off to go get that. Listening. Right. Save campaign. Get ready to go. This could be bad because we don't know exactly how strong they're going to be against us, but... Right. Relationships. Call the meeting early. It is war. Right. Yes. On my way. Let's go. Apparently declare war from where they were. Radar balloon. Listening. Moving go. out. I want to know what they've got coming in immediately. Yes. Second main tank force. On my way. Yes. Missile carrier On force. My way. Listening. Second hover tank Moving force. Out. Listening. Meanwhile, first hover Moving tank out. force. Yes. On Two Chris's. Yes. First main. Yes. Oh, second On missile carrier way. force. Yes. First main battle force. On my way. Listening. Radar balloon. Moving out. Get rolling. Oh, there are tanks emerging. Enigma Swarm, Scorn Swarm, Hade, Hala Swarm. But they look like they're leaving, so uh, not too worried about those if they're not even going to attack me directly. They presumably have a plan, but... Oh, wait, I want to track down their main base. They are absolutely churning out swarms, actually. Meh. Oh, capture 710. This one? That's what we're going for. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't really care about that one. I'm not actually too worried about the swarms. If that's all they've got, we'll we'll have enough firepower to down some swarm uh, ships. We might take some losses, but yeah, the Omnitaurus are things I'm worried about here. The ICBM facility is also bad, but it's that big Omnitaurus that I'm mostly worried about because I know it's actually quite a nasty machine. Yeah. All right. Let's also make sure you guys are nice and fueled up. Ah, we can't bring bonus materials once they're inside of their territory. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. On they can way. mostly fuel themselves off the uh, salvage we'll get at the end of that fight. Oh yeah, here they come. This is probably most of their machines though. Fenrir, Jackal, Hexa, Brushcutter, Fenrir, Brushcutter, Trades. Like Doom? I guess that's a Doom, right? Doom yeah. reference. Right, that's probably close enough. Let's get on board the flagship, or flag tank, I suppose. Looks like excellent terrain for tank battles. Let's see what we're up against. Lasers, probably. The only thing I do have to consider here. Right. Oh, it's a mech! I think. Is that a mech? Oh, it's a mech and a big old gun. Okay, so all three of these are armed. Noted. Okay, so we're going to see big railgun. Mech. 
Hmm, doesn't look the worst, but I don't trust that to actually be the case. We've got shoulder racks. Uh, do I think that other gun's worse? This, this, kill it. No, kill the base specifically. Targeting now. Open fire. <clears throat> that big gun looks like it's struggling to track targets. It's fired something. No instant enormous damage I'm spotting. Some of the Ashes are taking hits, but... It's definitely a LAM system, but it's not enough to... I think we are saturating it, basically, to put it simply. Oh, big hit coming in from the Ursha. Oh, it's a miss. Ah, they're interceptors. Okay, they're shooting down the Chris's missiles. Or oh, they're trying to. Looks like at least some of them have got through. That just go straight through it. It did. It hit the hip joint. It's fearsome, but I think we're beating it out. Too much getting shot at it for it for it to really properly defend itself. I would like to know why the Urshas have stopped. Probably not the Urshas, the Angies. Listening. You have resources. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. We'll see if we can make some repairs to it in case it's just damaged. But they are technically supposed to be targeting the base. Come on, I would like you to actually hit it. <clears throat> the very least, if we can immediately knock one major base out, that should set him back quite a bit. wrong by focusing on this one we should be focusing on the other static guns but I think we might be at this point actually yeah focus on guys focus on yeah. that turret for now would you <laughs> get the mech for a minute we've we've hit it badly enough that it's not going to be too much of a threat for the immediate moment Focus on that big static gun that I think has probably been causing a bit of damage behind the scenes. That mech will be the next target again though, but... I thought the foundry might be producing drones, but I haven't seen anything. Oh, actually it looks like it might have just gone up. At least a good chunk of it has anyway. Missiles locking it. We're not supposed to be. We we're losing a few vehicles. But how are we doing? Yeah. I don't know. Say its tracking was down, looking at the way it's moving, but we have lost some vehicles in exchange. Yeah. Okay, do indeed actually target the mech again now. Targeting now. Guess we can't get the top of it this time, but. Jump. Refinery's done for anyway at this point. Yeah, still not sure how the Angies have ended up flipped upside down like that, but. Are these actually weapons, by the way, or are these just big, like, pointy fingers? Oh, they look like they are cannons, yeah. Gun hands. Target the the base again. Everybody, whatever's left. 
Not that they are, they're, they're still basically hitting the top of it, but... Doesn't help either that that thing's flares are actually good enough to hold us back a little bit. Let's try and capture that. It is very cool. It would be fun to capture it. Yeah, I can see that railgun is trying to fire, but it's not hitting anything. This thing is just trundling forwards. I'm not sure it can steer anymore, which is really annoying because that means it might just drift out of range on its own. Are there any Chris's left? Not that I can see. I guess those were taken out. That is annoying, actually. Why does it say info? What is going on there? Oh no, we do still have some Chris's here. We're just, I guess, AI dead for the moment. It's fine, we'll, we'll enact some battlefield repairs if we can. Yeah. I'm glad we had as many vehicles here as we do. I will say that much. Trying to aim. This Ursh's guns for there. I believe to be the weak spot on it. We could try, but no good. Try again. A hit. If it can't sever its waist. Like another shot's coming in against it. Another hit. Come oh, on, we're gonna sever that column. I reckon the origin block's in it. If we can sever that column, it'll drop and it might even smash against the terrain. Or against its own hull. Keep them coming closer, come on. Come on, how many have we got left? It's an okay number. Yes. Hold that bit and keep it running if we can. Back. Now that it's stuck, that might even that be the moment to try and capture it. Come on, get out. Get out, Rambo. You can get him. Right, where is he? Right, everyone. Weapons off. I'll be back on in a moment, but... There's that minigun. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Where's the docking port? It'll be under here somewhere, right? <coughs> see it, so it's John eye shaped deco. Probably inside the hole, right? There we go. 
That one hurt it. Oh no, no, running off. Let me disable its wheels. Slow enough, I can catch up to him. Let's finish him off. Come on. There's a lot of wheels, though. If I could just knock them all out on this side. We need our other vehicles on as well. I need if I put myself at risk here. That's got two sets of tracks anyway. Still firing, it's still caught up there. We've got to get into these things internals. Oh yeah, everybody, uh, focus your fire. Targeting. And that. Come on, jump up. There you go, Rambo. Get yourself away from that. Does it have more than two meters of heavy armor? It sure does. There we go. You don't need this. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. It's very loud. What am I inside of now? I'm inside of its gun arm. The forwards is there. I want to go this way. No, no. Ha, I think that did it. At least expose the main body anyway. I think we are going to win this one, but man, it's going to be a bit expensive. Let's get inside here, shall we? Let's continue getting inside this thing and take it. We've got to get a good price for it and salvage. Their boarding actions are again always a bit of a weird thing, but I reckon no, it was immobilized. We were able to get to it. Where is the AI inside this thing? Forwards? Forwards. It us? I think it's us now, I'm not seeing an AI anyway. Yeah, I think not having self repairs actually really hurt us there. That was probably a bad idea going in when we did, but I think we've gotten away with it. Right, can I still fire the weapons? The other is no. Is it just the Momokas left at the end? Yes, yeah, the Momokas! <laughs> Good work, little ones. Yeah. Right, where are you three? Yeah. You have control on my way, yeah? You have control on my way, yeah? Get E3 in net. You have control on my way, yeah? Yes. Good one, it's actually done the right way, shall we? 
fact, you know, what's the one I meant? Right, turn them all. Keep them all automatic. Uh, which one am I? Okay. We're going in. We're gonna get up to that uh that rail gun and shut it down. Come on, turn. Oh right, yeah, I forgot the moment because I can't turn at full speed. Probably should fix that. It should probably only be on about I don't know, at fifty, but I guess it keeps the speed up, so maybe it's not too much of a worry. Either way. Coming in hot. Oh. We're hit. Oh, it's actually locked, locked offline. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so they've got to stay mobile. It's our nearest yeah. vehicle. I'm not losing to that sniper tower. <coughs> yeah, I see you there. I saw that shot. Yeah, that thing is finishing off our vehicles one by one. We didn't come this far to lose to you. It is really struggling to hit those mamakas, but I reckon they'll really struggle to take it out as well before it gets lucky. They have to get a lot of good shots on it. It has to get lucky once, and it'll take one out. So we got victory, but it has come at quite a cost. I'm not sure we'll be able to defend very well against those swarms, so we might have to get out of here and, and repair and spend quite a lot of money on it. But hey-ho. They were enough to overwhelm it just about with a little help from myself. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if the robot was worth ignoring for a bit longer and focusing on the turret, maybe, but I'm not sure there's any good way to deal with this thought, honestly. Definitely got a detection system knocked out, though, I'm sure. God, listen to the engines and that thing. Running that railgun. And the smoke it's spitting out, actually, for that matter. Because it would be getting hot after all those shots. Right. Given how heavy those are, I think the safest option for disabling this thing will be... Go down through the top of the armour and finish off with this. There we go. Ah, that was actually enough to kill it. You got a little bit of applied minigun in the right spot. I'll do wonders for you. The Mermicas are free to shell it, but I'm going to speed things up. We'll grab all the salvage we can and then repair as best we can from the. Or in fact, I might even pull the Vivian up. The Vivian's up to try and repair it on the spot, and or the the, the Naga's up to repair it on the spot and use the salvage from this battle because there's going to be a lot of it. It's a little riskier, but it'll be worth it. We'll be able to repair quite quickly if we can for relatively minimal cost. But we'd have to throw a lot of vehicles in for that. Yeah, it, I think it's a problem that we lost the Chrises quite early on. I guess that the AI correctly picked them out as a dangerous target for them. Shot that wing straight off. I guess if the AI would be in there somewhere? No. Get the wing off then. Oh, there it goes. A slightly cheesy victory, but I will take it. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, we captured the base way. of it. <laughs> we just got the base of the tank. Okay. It's just ours now. Uh, let's We're actually... Moving. Yeah, let's do what our original plan was. Get down here, we'll repair there where we can actually repair. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that one. Uh, I think our initial ambush is off to a reasonable start. We lost a lot, but we've taken some stuff. Um, this is going to be more interesting. 
couple of guys on here. Uh, since I think it would be the 12th on the day of recording this, it's still ahead of time. Uh, Cell Quinta will be in Steam's Midweek Madness sale. It'll be 80% off. It's one of the games I made. Go pick it up if you want to support the channel. You'll like it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.